Boys, we got some big news. So Bloxverse just released the Christmas part one update and with it came a brand new mythical, the T-Rex. We've been getting mythical fruit after mythical fruit these past updates, man. At this point, I'm gonna go bro. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna be spending a bit of Robux to buy the T-Rex fruit permanent as well as fully master all the moves to see how good the fruit really is. Let's get right into it. All right, now I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried to see how expensive this fruit is. Kitsune was like 4,000 Robux, man. We got Mammoth was also expensive. Let's see how it is. Let's check the shop. Oh, look at this beast bundle, 5,999, 10 days left. You get permanent Kitsune, permanent T-Rex, permanent Mammoth, $1.8 million and 10,000 fragments. So let's see how expensive this is. 2,350. Oh, that's interesting. And then look at the fruit model right there. That's actually a cool fruit model. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and buy that thing. Trevor is shut. Okay, they trolling me. All right, we back on after about almost two hours of waiting, boys. Let's get it. We are about to buy the T-Rex fruit. 2,350 Robux. Let's go ahead and purchase this before the server goes down again. There we go. 2,350. Permanent T-Rex activated. All right, let's see how many moves this got. Tail swipe, predatory screech, hunter's rage, reptilian scales, and gigantic leap. It also has a fury meter, which is similar to the dragon form. It's constantly going up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that little tail. That actually, it's kind of weird in my little body. Anyways, I kind of accidentally clicked and we saw that it has an M1. This is just like kitsune bro what and it's green to match the color of the the dino i guess all right before i go ahead and defeat this npc we're gonna go ahead and get the mastery by defeating bosses in this game the first boss i want to fight is this guy right here let's go ahead and check this first move tail swipe out check out tail swipe oh i had like a little like chomp animation or like uh type thing going on there okay okay has a decently long cooldown so that's that kind of sucks but let's see that again tail swipe okay that's a long range i like that i like that that's kind of similar to the uh the first mammoth move bro this this feels pretty similar to mammoth i'm gonna be honest we should get a few moves after this guy alone so once we do that we'll showcase some other moves here we go tail swipe and there he is right there okay let's see how much master we would get right here 123 we already have our next two abilities check out this next one predatory screech Oh, it's pulling him in. It's pulling him in. And then it knocks him back. Okay, okay. That actually seems like it could be potentially good to start combos. Let's see that again. All right, Predatory Screech. Pull him in. Boom. God, he been... Oh, wait. Never mind. Maybe you can't start combos with that. Is that a song we aren't user? Oh, let's just start our third move. I'm him. Punter's Rage. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get him pulling me with this. That's toxic. That's toxic. That's toxic. That's toxic. Hold on. Hold on. We about to pack this dude up. Boom. And GG. Sheesh. Yo, that's an easy 11k bounty right there. Y'all saw how easy I just killed him? All right, now let's showcase Hunter's Rage off properly. Let's see this. Okay, little holding animation there. I like that. I like that. Let's grab him. Oh, you lunge at him and grab him. Okay, that's kind of similar to a mammoth move. This feels overall pretty similar to mammoth. I'm not going to lie. Just kind of ironic. Let's see that one more time. Hunter's Rage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, off to the next boss. All right, Boa, prepare to meet your demise. Sit there with them M1s. Boom. Predatory Screech. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks like this could actually be decent for grinding, too, especially with the M1s. I like this. I like this. Let's back her up. Just right around half health. Hit her with the M1s. Predatory Screech. Yes, sir. Hold on. There's someone pulling up on me. There's someone pulling up on me. Hey, yo. Hey, relax. 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 Hold on. Tail swipe. Boom. Sit with these M1s. Let's pack this dude up. Let's pack this dude up. Yes, sir. Get over here, bucko. Get over here. He's not going anywhere. Boom. Tail swipe. Predatory Screech. Yep. Get back over here. Hunter's Rage and GG. Nice 17k bounty. <laughs> alright, bro. Alright, bro. Let's get back to fighting Boa. Let's get back to fighting Boa. I don't know, bro. This this fruit, this fruit's kind of fun, man. This fruit's kind of fun. M1 and there we go. Let's see how much master we get from this. 153. Damn, this is going kind of slow. Alright, let's go to try to speed this up. Let's go on to one of these higher tier bosses. Alright, Big Mom versus T-Rex. Let's see how this goes. Predatory Screech. Boom. Can't really confirm off of that. So I'd say that's a, probably a combo ender, not a combo starter. I mean, you're definitely using that wrong. The M1s on this don't feel as satisfying as the kitsune one because it doesn't have like a downtime at the end so it feels a little bit incomplete but i definitely like this so far i'm liking this so far i think this fruit got some decent potential tail swipe big mom right around half health packing her up she's almost dead weave that hit it with the god he moves and big mom down please give me the 200 please give me the 200 please give me the 200 191 they really trolling me here wait who's that is that a buddha over there oh let me go try fighting him let's see how we can pack up this buddha now nah, i got my eyes set on you you ain't going nowhere boom hit him with these hunter rage oh yeah predator screech how did, not, how did I not pull him in? Do these M1s stun like Kitsunes? No, they do not. No, they do not. Predatory Screech. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bucko. Oh, yeah, bucko. Why would you go out of your form, huh? Boom. Tail swipe and GG. Also, while we're here, let's just go ahead and check out the Christmas event. So similar to last year, they have a Christmas event this time. And uh, I guess it's a thing where like every hour fruit spawn right here. And then supposedly there's going to be NPCs where you can use candies. Greedy Elf. Yep. Let's talk to him right here. Yo, got any candies for me? I don't think I do. I have zero candies. Yeah. So hold on. Let me go try killing one of these NPCs npcs real quick because i think if you kill one of these npcs you get candies all right here we go m1 okay we didn't get any candy that time maybe we have to kill another one 
What about this one? Will this one drop candy? No, that one didn't drop any candy either. I think maybe you have to defeat an NPC around your level. So I have to go to, what is it? Tiki Outpost to get the candies? Either way, you kill NPCs, get candies, and then you can go talk to these NPCs, and then you can exchange the candies for, I think, things like elf hat, set hat, and sleigh. Oh, I want to get the sleigh. Maybe we do that in another video. I'm definitely not doing that today. <laughs> All right, we got that out the way. Now let's get to the next boss. Kilo Admiral. This is about to be a breeze, boys. This is about to be a breeze. Boom. Tail swipe, get her there. Better screech. Boom. Alter's rage. We're about to get our next ability 100% after this. All right, I'm hoping at least. Let's just make quick work of this girl. Let's make quick work of this girl. Tail swipe and GG's. There we go. 206 mass. We've got our next ability, Gigantic Leap. The last ability until we get our transformation. All right, let's go ahead and check that thing out. Gigantic Leap. Okay, it's basically just like the Mammoth Stampede. Look at that little hold animation, the little green animation like that. Oh, that goes kind of far. Let's check that out again. Let's see how far that goes. Can that go like really far? Like over here? Oh, the way they actually kind of go pretty far. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. The damage was actually pretty decent too. It did almost 3,000 damage. One more time, boys. One more time. Bear with me. Gigantic leap. Yep, almost 3,000 damage. That is not bad. That is not bad. I will say this fruit doesn't really feel that special. Like it feels more underwhelming than Mammoth did. And it kind of feels like the same as Mammoth. Like look at this. Tail swipe. Ancient cutter. Feels pretty similar, right? Hunter's rage. A little leap pushes him back. Colossal Crusher, a little leap pushes him back. Then obviously we have Gigantic Leap right here and then Stampede right here. So like that's three of the moves that all are similar. Plus they both have transformations. Plus they're both zones. So you know what I'm saying? They feel pretty similar. All right though, we have less than a hundred more mastery before we unlock the final ability, Reptilian Scales, which is 300 mastery. Let's just go ahead and farm some NPCs for this one. All right, we at Chocolate Land, the best place for grinding. Let's get this grinding montage. Hold the grind off for one moment, boys. We're about to have these presents spawn in 15 seconds. Three, two, one, starting. I'm pretty sure each person can only get one present, so it's not like we can all get more than one big present in the middle. Let's see what we get. Golly, these boys doing all effects and stuff. Do we have to break it? Let me see. Okay, okay, we got one. Present open. Oh, we got magma. Wait, can I get another one? No, we can't. We can't get another one. This guy got bomb. This guy also got magma. Okay, so no one really got anything good this batch of rounds, so I guess, I guess it is what it is. Can't even store this magma either. Let me go ahead and just drop it. All right, though, that's it. Let's get back to the grinding. Two ninety nine. One more NPC. One more NPC. Or two more. Let me just gather them all up, bro. Why not? Let's get to three hundred. Let's get to three hundred. Last NPCs for three hundred, boys. And one for the screech. And three hundred. Sheesh. That was actually pretty quick. That didn't take too long. All right, we've unlocked our final and last ability, reptilian scales. Let's check that out. Since we have full fury meter. Three, two. One. Yo. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me do that again. Let me do that again, bro. When we transform, it has like a little AOE attack. Let's check that out again. Let's check that out again. So you see these NPCs? They had, they're not damaged yet, right? They, they, it does damage. Nah, that's crazy. Is this X Drake's fruit right here, bro? Is this X Drake? X Drake? English? X Drake. <laughs> that might not be X Drake. This is how X Drake's look, right? This is how the in-game one looks. Kind of different a little bit. What the heck? Look at my little cyborg wings at the bottom. That looks kind of sus. You know what I'm saying? Look at this running animation. It's not that fast, or at least not as fast as, uh, what is it? Kitsune? Why should it be, though? Little Geppos, too. Cool little dash. It has some little green effects at the end of it. Let's look at M1s now. Okay, M1s. Oh, this one has a little screech at the end of it. Similar to, uh, uh, leopard. I like that. I like that. I like that. Look at that. It even has a little chomp animation. What the heck is that? It's like a little thing above his head. What does that do? Hold on. Oh, wait, wait. It's a passive. It's doing damage. When I walked away, it started doing damage. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That's interesting. That's interesting. So it has a passive. Whenever you deal damage to someone in the uh, the transformation form, it does that little um icon of a T-Rex above their head. And then when you start walking away, it does damage over time. Oh, so that's interesting. Does, I wonder if it has a slowed effect to it. Doesn't look like it has a slower stun effect, but that's still interesting. So runners... <laughs> They ain't gonna be able to heal no more, boys. As long as you damage them, if they run away, they're gonna get damaged. That's actually an interesting passive. All right, let's check our abilities and see if anything's changed. Tail swipe, okay. Oh, it does three now, just like Mammoth. This is basically Mammoth fruit, I'm gonna be honest. Check that again, tail swipe. Look at that, look at that, big AOE now. What about Predatory Screech? Does that do something different now? Okay, it does the same thing, except now it doesn't lunge, it just pushes them back. What about Hunter's Rage? Hunter's Rage. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Now it keeps him there. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. Let's check that Hunter's Rage one more time. Let me test it on an NPC right here. Let's see if it has any range to it. Hunter's Rage. Okay, that's fire. And then you can instantly just tie that into any combo. So that's going to be a combo starter right there, it looks like. I like that. I like that. Last but not least, we have Gigantic Leap. Let's check that out. Gigantic Leap. See how far that goes. 
Well, that didn't go very far. Oh, wait. It has a different AoE impact. Let's check that out one more time. Let's check that out one more time. Let's see how far this can go. Gigantic Leap. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yo. Okay. Okay. This fruit, this fruit's not bad. This fruit's not bad, bro. I'll do, I'll, they cooked a little bit with this. They cooked a little bit with this. You know, so you could definitely start combos with this. I wonder if this form has damage reduction. All right, though. That's the entire move set of T-Rex. I would have to give this probably like mm, either 7.5 or 8 out of 10, just because it feels exactly like the last two fruits we've gotten. So it doesn't feel really fresh. It kind of feels similar, but it is dope. It has a nice passive, has some cool abilities as well, and some nice effects. Now, before we wrap up the video, y'all, already know we got to do some pvp with the fruit it's just winter clouds tradition i have someone in my server rip husky he's a four million bounty player let me ask him yo husky can we do a 1v1 we'll do a first to three 1v1 that means the first to get three wins wins their set he said sure we will do a first to three set i want to get a feel for how good this fruit is for pvp or how good it can be for pvp all right i'm gonna equip spiky trident for this one because i feel like spiky trident could be good for this first run i'm not going to use the transformation form at all three Two, one, and go. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Soul Guitar. Let me try to snipe him with the tail swipe. Oh, I almost had him there. I almost had him there. All right, let's get him here. Boom. Let's get him with these. And once. Prepare this Creech. Oh my gosh. Yo, you can actually kind of start combos a little bit with this. Okay, okay. So base forms are actually not bad. Base forms not bad. I don't know if it'll have a one shot or maybe I'm just not doing it right. Try to snap him with the air with that. Never mind, I missed. All right, El Diablo. Uh-huh. Let's do like this. Go like this. Get him there. Just rage. Boom. And he's dead. All right, first round went to me. That was with the no transformation. Next round, I will use transformation just to see how good this fruit could be if you're just spamming. All right, so first round goes to me. Next round starts in three, two, one, and and go. I'm going to transform right off rap. We're going to see how this goes. We're going to see how this goes. Okay, okay. He's a little Inventum transformation. And when I'm out of there, boom. Let's get him there. Put through his screech. Pull him in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is actually kind of toxic. This is actually kind of toxic. This is actually kind of toxic, bro. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Hit him with that tail swipe. Okay, you can't really aim the tail swipe up that much. Let me hit him with this. And one and one. Hold on. Where do you think you're going? Put through screech. Pull him back in. Hunter's Rage. Oh my God, this this fruit is a problem. This fruit, <laughs> this fruit could be a problem, bro. Oh my gosh, this is definitely on the level of Mammoth at least. Maybe not quite as good as Mammoth, but the potential's there. All right, well, two, zero to me. Uh, next round, I win the full entire set. This round, I'm gonna use both transformation and non-transformation. Ready for final round? He said, yeah. All right, final round, no count on this time, and go. Let's try to hit him with that. I wanna try to see if I can land a combo here. I wanna try to see if I can land a combo. Six round gun, boom. There we go. Hunter's Rage. Let's hit him with these. Tail swipe. Oh, that was a cool combo. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. All right, let me go. Transformation. Gigantic leap. Oh, I can't try. I can't pull him out of that. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Get him out of that. Same with this. Predatory Screech. And bro is dead. Oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> T Rex could be a problem in PvP, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Well. Let me know if y'all want me to do a dedicated bounty hunting video with this because this fruit looks a little fun. But we completely mastered out all the moves. We checked out the new update, well, the fruit event. There is some other stuff we haven't looked into, but I got to get into recording other videos. So with that, boys, I'll see y'all later.